Hey there YouTube, Team Social Link here. We're giving you a deck profile of a long awaited deck of mine. Um, this is the deck that I made on my team and what um, is actually my current favorite deck is. Um, is going to be my Gear Chronicles. Um, for your starter vanguard, you want to use Gunner Gear, Draco Kid. Um, I see people using um, Time Lapse, uh, Draco Kid, but I like Gunner Gear um, because I like his ability because it's a consistent grade 3 into hand. The other one just Count Blast, Planet of Soul. At grade three, but he's only at a J break. The other one, his ability is um, J break one, count best one, put this unit as a soul, add any grade three to hand. You just pretty much hit your deck. So I use one of him, and then you play, of course, your generic uh, four heal, steam, steam maiden, um, Ulu. And then what I play a little bit different than other gear decks, I play um, the, I play it this way. I play tube steam maiden, jewels. I think that's how you say her name, Julius. And then four Lucky Pot Draco Kid. Uh, put in the soul plus three thousand to any um, unit. Um, I play six draws over the eight crit four draws, or eight crit four stands stuff like that. Um, I like um, the six draws six crits because it's been helped me keep consistent in hand power and all that, which is what this deck really lacks. And then, of course, the Tomb Steam Maiden and Mush Mushid. Steam Mush Battler, not Steam Maiden. Yeah, Steam Battler. Steam Battler, Meshida. They all have weird names. It's really hard to say them sometimes. And then, um, Four Heart Thump uh, Worker. Uh, he's your generic uh, put into soul. Uh, if you have a Chrono Jet as your van, um, give it plus 5,000, you draw one card. So I play the 6 crit 6 draws, which has been helping me out a lot lately, and I really do love that, because I'm not like really stuck that much with um, lacking power and all that. So on to the grade, um, on to the grade 1s, we play 3 Misgeyser Dragon, uh, pretty much he's like your Bruno for golds, um, pretty much when something's put on the, your opponent's bottom of the deck due to one of my effects. Um, give this unit plus 5,000. So if you have like um, upheaval, place upheaval, you could give this unit plus if they have a full field uh, 25 power and then using Chrono Jet's ability, you could pretty much give this this card right here would be like a uh, 36 booster, which is really, really nice. And then I play three Stride Enablers. Um, Steam Breath Dragon, um, pretty much uh, drop, counts as a grade 3, and then his other ability is when this unit's place, reveal a grade 3, add a Chrono Jet Dragon, add a Chrono Jet to hand, and drop one. So he's pretty much your good if you need your grade 3 to be Chrono Jet. And then I play 4 uh, Steam Fighter Meshi. Meshi. Um, pretty much he's your generic unflip power, um, G break one, uh, soul blast one, when something's put on your opponent's um, bottom of the deck due to an effect from my, one of my units, unflip one damage. You counter charge pretty much. Um, I like this right now um, because it does help because you do go through counter blast a lot in this deck. And then the generic for Steam Maiden, Ammer. Am, Elm, Elma, am I? I can't really pronounce her names. Like Elm, Arlem, Arlem. Um, she's your generic um, Shukoni um guard. Shukoni um perfect guard your van, but that's fine by me. I don't mind that at all. Um, but once uh, if you have another unit with this name in your drop zone when you place it on Guardian Circle, unflip one jam, um, unflip one damage. So it's a counter charge again. So I have a total of 8 cards in deck that can actually unflip my damage, which is what really helps me a lot in this deck. So that's the grade 1s. On to the grade 2s is where I'm a little bit, um, where it's a real, little bit janky like my grade zeros. Um, I play 2 Steam Maiden, I, sh I should, <laughs> I, s oh, I would just um, pretty much, uh, she's a G break one. When something's put on your opponent's bottom of the deck, counter blast one. This unit cannot be, um, you cannot, your opponent cannot guard 
uh, zeros when this unit attacks, and it also has resist. So it's a really good card. I really do like it. Um, I might be taking it out once the new set comes out, but she is really good. And then I play Tomb Relic Master Dragons, which is actually um, one of the things that people really don't like. People don't usually don't run. Um, I like running him because I need that guarantee. Like if I go second and I'm not able to stride, I need to be able to do, um, put stuff on my opponent's bottom of their deck so they don't have a field setup, especially with like the G-Break starters or their starters that helps them out. So I play two of him, but he's a counter blast one. Re um, put a grade two or less on your opponent bottom of your deck. Counter blast two. Yeah. You said counter blast one. Uh, it's pretty much is a counter blast one if yeah G break if you have this stuff on the field. Well, but, yeah, but it's counter blast two. Yeah, it's, it's a counter blast two. Yeah. Then I play three glimmer breath dragons. Um, back then I wasn't really. Also great about Glimmer Breath. I really didn't like it that much. Um, but I love this card a lot because it's when it's placed on rear. If you have a Chrono Jet Dragon as your van, Count Bless One, Soul Bless One. This unit can put something on your opponent's bottom of your deck, of your opponent's bottom of their deck, uh, grade two or less. And this unit gets plus uh, two thousand, so it becomes an eleven K attacker, which is what I really like. Um, and then of course the. Four Steam Fighter Ambers, which is your generic um, good card in this deck because you, when this unit's boosted at G Break 1, Counter Blast 1 put a grade 2 or less on your opponent's side of the field on the bottom of their deck. So that's my grade 2 lineup, which is actually what I like the most because it, it does help me out a lot and I love some. I just love this deck and it, their mechanics. On to the grade 3s, I play Four Steam. Um, Fate, White, uh, Fate Wheel Dragon. People like to play with the Legion and Chrono Jet. I like the just the pure, um, pure generation deck, pretty much. Uh, but pretty much when this unit's placed on Van, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, put a grade 1 or less on your opponent's side of the field on the bottom of their deck. And then it's also at G Break 1, Counter Blast 1, when this unit attacks, your opponent cannot call uh, grade zeros to the Guardian Circle. So it's a pretty grade 3 generic um, silent time, which is actually nice. Um, and then the main key card in this deck, my my babies, um, my 4 uh, Chrono Jet Dragon. Uh, he's a G-Break 2, um, your opponent cannot guard grade 1s or higher, and this unit gets plus 5,000. 5, and then when something strides over this unit, counter blast one, put anything on your opponent's bottom of their deck. Any rare card. So I play three of that. Um, Chrono Jet is actually the main key card of this deck. It's the main key focus that I like to play with this deck. So that's the grade threes. And now on to the great, um, now the stride deck, the G Zone. Um, people play differently, I play it um, pretty much how people play too, but it all really depends on how you want to play it. Um, I played the, of course, the four generic Intermessional Dragon, Dragon Clock Dragon. Uh, pretty much when this unit atta um, attacks, Counter Blast 1, flip a face-up copy of him. If you have two or more face-up uh, G units in your G zone, this unit gets uh, a crit and your opponent cannot guard with uh, grade 1s, um, grade zeros. To the Guardian Circle, which is actually a really good card in this deck, which is actually, um, I'm probably going to be knocking him down though to two once Next Age comes out, but that will be a next deck profile I'll be giving to you guys. Um, I play one Interdimensional Dragon, Fate Rider Dragon, um, pretty much his ability is once per turn when, you're, when you declare to activate this ability, you grab a grade of any grade, like you could pick your starter, your grade one, grade two, or grade just one of those, a grade 2, grade 0, or anything like that, and you call a grade higher than that. Just one higher. So if I do a grade 0, grade 1. If I do a grade 1, it's grade 2. If I do a grade 2, it's a grade 3. And then for every face of G unit in your G zone, you're, um, you pick that many units, and they get plus 3,000. So it's actually a really nice card, and I really like it. Um, so I'm still debating on if I'm still going to use them in the next set when it comes out. Um, then I play the one interdimensional beast, Upheaval Pegasus. 
uh, pretty much if you have a Chrono Jet as your heart when this unit strides over it. Uh, pretty much you put all your opponent's units and you put them on the bottom of their deck. And then once, and then they call one at a time of how many units were put on the bottom of the deck. Usually what I like to do is just do a total of six. If they have a full field, do this. They have five units. That helps, especially with um, Oracle Think Tank players because they like to stack up their stuff. If you know they're getting close to their stack, just use this. You mess them up. And then two Interdimensional Dragon, Epoch Maker Dragon. Uh, pretty much on hit. Uh, pretty much you bind a unit. It doesn't matter what it is. It's a at rest or anything like that. You just bind it. And you superior call a grade 3. Um, and at the end of the turn, you, well, you superior call the grade 3 from your deck. And at the end of the turn, uh, you put that grade 3 on the bottom of your deck, your opponent's deck, um, your deck. Wow. And um, you recall that unit that you binded. Um, it's a really good combo if you have enough Count Blast and a Gloom of Breath on field. Because you use his ability, you bind the Gloom of Breath, and then you call a Chrono Jet or a Fate, Ro Fate Reel. And then at the end of the turn, uh, you put the Chrono Jet back on the bottom of the deck, and you recall a Glimmer Breath, and you use Grim Glimmer Breath's effect again. Um, because it's what helps, it's whenever this unit's placed on rear guard, and it's and he's being called on rear. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my deck. Um, I really do like this deck. I do love the whole Gear Chronicles. I played them when they first time was released in Japan. I did make a proxy deck. Um, I know all the ins and outs pretty much with them. I'm still learning some stuff though too. Um, but yeah, um, well hopefully we'll give you some more um, games with this deck. Show you how it is. And um, also give you some nice openings for uh, set 4 and sneaks for that. So yeah, that's my deck. Hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and Team Social Link out.